Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel for another video here today. And today we're going to be analyzing one of our own games, which we've done recently. And we're going to do it again because I was playing ranked. And even though I wasn't feeling the best this game, I do remember. I don't remember how this game really went, but I do remember I wasn't feeling 100%. But your boy still managed to drop a thousand points by the end of the game. So I saved it because, you know, you drop a thousand in the game. It must have been a pretty good game. So we're going to take a look at it. We're going to analyze it, see what we did well, see what we did not so well. Try not to take too long on analyzing the video. And yeah, let's get into it. Hopefully we can point out some stuff that you can learn from. Hopefully some things happen in the game that you can learn from. Because that's the whole point and premise of this YouTube channel is to make you guys a better Rocket League player by educating you through our videos. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe because that's that's what we do here. We post a lot of educational content. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, Zach, calm it down with the with the flicks. I'm gonna give somebody a freaking seizure. All right, right away, really quick, I'm gonna point this out. One, my my cheat up could have been a little better. I was kind of slow. Could have probably had a 50-50 on this uh, cheat up. But secondly, big mistake people will make is trying to grab this corner boost in the corner here. And while I could do that. I prefer and I think it's much better to stick to having good rotations. And so instead of rushing, instead of rushing to this boost, thus interjecting myself into this rotation where then my teammate here has to wait, I instead am going to rotate out around, stick to the rotations, prioritize rotations over the big boost grab, and then my teammate can challenge you know, however he's going to challenge and I'm behind him backing him up. I've played this game for many, many years and over the many, many years I have come to the conclusion. It's very, very solid conclusion that it's always highest percentage play is always to stick to the rotation over trying to secure a big boost. So I had the choice here. Do I want to interject myself into the play where I shouldn't be to grab the boost or do I want to stick to the rotation? up to rotate around my teammate, pick up a couple pads, let him challenge and follow him up. Mm -mm. Clear that safely to the corner there. Bam, Isaac's got me beat. There's no point in me pushing up for something that I'm beat to. teammates got that clear since he just went even though he landed in that area i'm gonna go ahead and push for the next touch on the ball because he just went so i'll take the next touch kind of taking turns in the rotation there missed the pass tried passing that out to midfield i really should have been more aware here right this whole rotation back after i missed this pass should have turned on my ball cam already at this point in time and possibly could have been making the decision to grab some pads in the midfield versus rotating all the way back for boost. Something that I could have done better there. Okay, I'm going to be across from my teammate to pass to, which was really well done. Right here, I see, right, this, there's so much space for them to make a pass across here. So I'm going to be aware of that. And I'm going to put myself over to where they possibly could pass this ball right now. Oh, and then I'm going to whip it. I hate those touches. Those touches are always so, like, random on whether you're going to get the touch or not. Like, oh, it hits the curve, right? What happens here? It hits before it hits this part of the wall. It hits this little curve here. This this part is just sticking out slightly more this way. And so it actually hits this and bounces down instead of hitting the flat part of the wall. That's why I missed this. And these are so man, they're so hard to read. So hard to get the touch in those positions. I know he's off to my left, so I have to go up for that, right? 
he makes that touch and he's i saw him drive forward off to my left side of the screen so i know big e is passing this and i have to go up and try to intercept this because if i don't he's just going to shoot this on net and then i have no hope Nice, nah, just blocked the possible shot. He missed the shot though, so I didn't get a touch, but we we covered the option in case he did uh, shoot that. And then this was a big misplay by me here. Right here, I am waiting to see if he's shooting this. And then once he doesn't, I sh had super slow reaction time. I should have drove up to the backboard here and I could have cleared this easily off the backboard. Big mistake by me. Being a passing option for my teammate here. Always want to try to make sure your first man on the ball has a passing option. If possible. It causes, it creates another threat that the defense has to worry about and try to cover for. And it makes their job a lot harder. And then it gives your teammate uh, an option, right? He can use it as a fake. He can fake the pass. He can actually pass. He can, you know, a lot of different things that... Uh, your teammate can do just by having a passing option. The swag turn, as Flakes would call it. Why did I even swag turn here? What was up? I don't even know. Swag turn though. Again, not interjecting myself into the corner out of position, out of the rotation for that boost behind me. Don't need to. Stick to the rotation. Rotation over over boosts. Rotation over big boost grabs. Ah, yeah, I remember this. I do remember this. I thought to myself, okay, I should have jumped for that. I could have gotten up for this. I don't know if I could have honestly gotten up for this though. Now looking back at it, what could have been better here? That's honestly a really good, it's a decent block for my teammate, and it actually is pretty, a little unlucky. Where's our third man here? Rivals coming from, what, midfield? I gotta see what he's doing here. I don't know. Maybe we can pin this blame on somebody else. Nah, there's really nothing to say on that. I might have been able to jump up for this ball faster, though. If I just read this quicker. Bam, this hat. Nah, that's so fast. That's such a fat. It's almost like there's almost nothing that we could have done there. Honestly, there's almost nothing we could have done there. Nice boost grab. Nice. See, that's what I was talking about with not being 100% this game. My car control was just a little shaky here and there. Dodge that demo. I wanted to pass this to my teammate, but he turned around. He probably had no boost. Probably why he turns here. When I went up, I was anticipating a pass to my teammate. I placed it too far ahead, even if because I should have realized my teammate's not going to have any boosts here. And so if I'm going to pass this, this needs to be a little bit like pretty much where the, the ball indicator is right now on the ground. That's pretty much where I would have needed to drop this for my teammate. So yeah, I passed that too far ahead. Hmm. Get yeah, on beat to that ball, no point in going. Give my teammate a little bump. Try to control this ball in our corner with no boost, so the best I can do with no boost is most likely gonna be just to try to keep control of the ball, get a 50-50. Can I bang this? I can. Decent bang, decent bang. That should have been a pass. I don't know if my teammate was even there though. Pass midfield there would have been great, but also my teammate wasn't there for it anyways. But a pass midfield there would be optimal. 
instead of trying to take that really tough shot with defenders already in net. But we do sink that one. There's again another ooh, my backboard my backboard defense was terrible this game. I remember this one too, thinking oh man, I should have been up on the backboard for this. Bam. I don't know why I turn up field here. This is big, big, big mistake for me here. Right? I see Isaac clearly has the next touch on this ball. And there's no reason for me to turn up field. Bam, that's terrible. That is terrible. If I was if I turned back towards the backboard there instead of the way that I did, if I turn back this way. Bam, I can go up on the backboard if it hits a backboard, or if he takes a shot, I can just keep turning and shadow defending. We you probably can't see this arrow because it's behind me. But one, I either turn and go up the backboard, or I turn and I shadow defend. I just turned the wrong way here for whatever reason. Wouldn't normally make that mistake, but I do, and... I thought we got punished for it. We do get punished for it, okay. Yeah, that's on me. That's on me, right? I pointed this out recently just because, right, this touch could have been better. Let's see. Bam. His touch, not great, but he did what he could. Curve and swerve could have jumped for this and, and saved it, right? Both my teammates could have done better there. We probably could have not, and got, not gotten scored on there, but that all starts with me. That play should have never been... A play and i should have had an easy possession or clear off of the backboard earlier so that goal is my fault even though my teammates kind of fumbled the ball in front of our net again i'm just not really turning well this game i'm not really my mental game ain't really there too well here i did well to see that this is an option i know biggie can cut this past me so I don't overcommit for this challenge and I turn back, which is good. But then here I turn up, I turn up field. I should have been turning to the, to the right defensively here. Oh man, at least we're slotting our shots right now. At least we are slotting our shots. Why do I even go up for this, right? I just anticipate the miss. Sometimes you got to do that. You can't over-respect your opponents. And this is a tough read. It's coming down off the corner. We're down by a goal with 39 seconds left. Sometimes you got to take the risk. You know, if you watch ROCS, you hear it all the time. When teams are down by multiple goals and the game's ending, you got to go all in. And a lot of the time, you'll either you'll make the comeback or you'll get punished for going all in. But it's just something you have to do sometimes. So I have to anticipate. I have to... I have to hope that he's missing that, and he does, and I take the shot, and we get it. Being a passing option here again. I go up for this block because I know I don't have any teammates back here, right? I just saw Rival, my teammate, up on their backboard. Curve is in the right here making this touch. So this is my only option. I have to go up and try to block this because if I don't, it's a free pass to Isaac and he just slots that into the open net. So I have to go up for this. And luckily, I'm able to get a block. Just a very quick decision that's made in the moment. Hoping I can get a pass mid here. Doesn't happen, but that's okay. Oh, my game's gonna freeze. Hold up, everybody. <laughs> this is not a part of the gameplay. Okay, there we go. Trying to keep the ball up since we have uh, kind of the last offensive possession here. Could have possibly been a shot, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, I do. I do get cheeky and I delay the kickoff. I am scum. I always say people who delay the kickoff are scumbags, but you know what? I'm just trying to get the dub here and I feel like uh, Straight off the overtime that delayed kickoff could have caught him off guard I'm Gonna take my time here to take control thought I was gonna get challenged there I flick early here because I, I feel as though because this possession, this catch isn't the best, and it's taken me a while to get the ball back on my hood. So I figure they're going to try to capitalize on that. 
they're gonna try to capitalize on the fact that they have an opening to challenge me right now and dunk me really hard so i just flick early uh, anticipating the early challenge but nobody was there That's pretty terrible by me. I should have uh, caught that on the backboard. Yeah, my backboard, my backboard game has been has been bad this this game. I think that's the number one thing this game for me is my just my backboard uh, plays, backboard defense has been bad this game. Do I score this? No, we tried, we tried. This game was a few days ago now, so I don't really remember uh, a lot of it. Biggie, he does boost start me all the way down the line. Tried getting a demo, failed pretty miserably. Me and my teammate both went here. This ball's kind of awkward for rival. It's kind of uh, over his head and behind him a little bit. So I didn't expect him to go up to this. Probably shouldn't have gone up for it because if you paid attention, he also looked like he ran out of boost very early in that play. So yeah, shouldn't have gone up for that. If he knew I was behind him, he might not have known. That could be better. Again, backboard. My backboard play is just terrible this game. My my first priority is just not getting scored on, but I'm not really thinking ahead. I need to uh, try a little harder to get this a little bit more to the corner. Nice double from our teammate. Curve and swerve. Boost should come up any second. It's worth waiting on in this position. Do I go up for this? I do. Teammate also goes up. The so teammate first man makes the touch. And instead of rotating out, he goes up again. It's not really on me, honestly. Ooh, is that a clean little curb dash? Ooh, clean with it. Clean with it. Good pass. Try to get the double. Get blocked. Do I read this? Ooh, I do. Ooh, I'm starting to warm up. I'm starting to pop off. Man, I might have scored both of those double tap attempts had the defense not been there. We're starting to warm up now. We're starting to heat up. Again, being a passing option for my teammate. Go for the demo. I see I see he turns this, you know, passing opportunity into a solo play. So since I'm not getting a pass here anymore, I might as well go for the demo, right? This is not a passing play anymore. This is a solo play. He's either air dribbling this or he's flip resetting. So I'm going to try to delete the defense. And if I would have got that demo, it would have been a goal. But the shot just came in a little too quick to where I couldn't get the guy. Prioritizing grabbing the boost here, securing our corner boost versus challenging this guy too hard because there's really no threat here. What's this guy going to do in this position? Not really any threat. So I'm just going to grab the boost, kind of put a hand in his face, and then rotate out for my teammates. Not really any threat there. So when there's not really any threat, you kind of want to you kind of want to prioritize collecting your boost, securing your boost versus necessarily challenging the ball at that very second. Fake. Pass. Demo. 
Oh, if the shot was a little faster, it would have been a goal. It's okay, though. We go up for this. We do. We try to dish it down to our teammate. We do. He gets the touch. Goes for the pass. Decent. Teammate leaves it for me. That's fine. Soft touch that I can follow up on and grab the boost again. Bam. Oh, no. That was, that was close. That was almost GG. Do I go up for this? No, I see Rival can take it. Set up for the pass. Can't really go up for that. Not worth it anyways. Okay, Rival with the nice safe touch to our corner. We'll always take that. Um, I opt out of that aerial. I was really far away from the ball by the time I decided to go up for that. Not really worth it. Oh my god, what a save. I remember this play. I got a couple what a saves in the chat <laughs> for this one. So here, right... I can kind of see this angle is there's the way my teammates challenging and where he's coming from it's leaving this this angle behind him open right he's gonna have anything that comes in sort of this area but i have to pre-jump here because if he if the opponent shoots around him in this this uh this path here it's a goal i have to pre-jump this and so i do and we get the save that was that was a pretty good quick read and that's what i love about rocket league man there's so many quick quick decisions to be made and so much like instinctual play and just super fast decision making that's one of the things i love about rocket league it's such a high iq game better here see i did learn from my mistakes from the previous man what three or four backboard mistakes here i actually covered the backboard and i waited for the ball to come to me this time rather than jumping out much better that time than the other two times <laughs> i bumped the opponent into the boost which kind of sucks go for a demo on their last man we got it nice go for a demo on our way back as well Ooh, just barely avoided it Do I go for this? I wasn't sure if my teammate was going to try to pass that. Wasn't worth going for. A really good solo effort in the midfield to buy us some time, though. Uh-oh. It's a good bang from Biggie. Barely get the touch there, but I do. Luckily, if I don't get that touch, I feel like we're, we're losing the game. Dodge the demo, get the touch. Oh, oh man, I'm putting in work now. Give me that boost. Nice. Bang up field. Is that a goal? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, again, I had that if the defense isn't clutch. They've had gold line saves like three times now. Take control. Oh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Go for the bump. Oh. There it is. There it is. So just going for the bump here, I think uh, just slows him down enough to where he's out of position for this save. Right. If I don't go for this bump, he's probably up challenging this ball right now. But because he has to hit the brakes, hit reverse, he doesn't go up in time and bam nice and that is finishing the game with a thou look at that six saves six shots two goals while our backboard defense was pretty poop that game made a lot of misplays off the backboard or not being on the backboard when i should have still played well the rest of the game and in the other aspects of our game we were just able to squeak out this win after six minutes of freaking overtime so Hey, that was a pretty cool game. Honestly, if nothing else, what you can learn from this is, I mean, hey, comment down below something that you have taken away maybe from this replay. Would love to hear that and see what you guys, see if this video was useful to you guys. I hope it was because I'm trying to teach you guys something with this. But if nothing else, you can see the value of backboard positioning and backboard defense because I made a lot of misplays on the backboard or by not being on the backboard when I should have. 
and you saw multiple times me either get punished or almost get punished so at, at least take that away from this game the backboard is super important to defend and to utilize on defense but that's it guys if you like the video if you learned something comment down below tell me what you learned tell me what you're going to take away from this game leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video peace 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 peace